day to play it sound in the air Geeks dropping like bombs, we all gotta care PSV on two, it's the headline news Driving in tight, got nothing to lose Sony strategy clear, it's built to top Virtuals, we ain't gonna stop Adapters and cables gotta connect PC to PS, it's all getting hectic Virtual reality Shades. Get your headset ready for the ride In this revolution, we all got pride We all got pride Hello, it's Polish Pol VR. welcome to the channel This is the first one of two PlayStation VR 2 news videos I'll be publishing today Because of course later on today we've got State of Play but we've got some rumors about it and they're very good for us PlayStation VR 2 owners. Some people moan about it, but fuck them. For us, we want more VR. Also, we're gonna talk about uh, Sony's, let's say, strategy when it comes to their peripherals and their revenue because they revealed it and some other bits and bobs. So, let's go! And of course, we're gonna start from the PlayStation VR 2 leaks, let's say the state of play leaks. So, apparently, the insider, Hilltop Ninja, says that she's seen the PlayStation State of Play and basically what she's saying is to not get your hopes up. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's not true. That's lie, basically. And I tell you why right now. Because she says loads of VR, multi-platform and nothing to get excited about, which is a very shitty statement. Uh, and also the insiders believe that Sony didn't want to do uh, the state of play, but they felt pressure from Xbox Showcase, which uh, makes me like kind of think about the legitimacy of it as, you know, the Xbox Sony outsold it like 4 to 1. I'm sure they not worry about Xbox at the moment, but anyway, they do it. And you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. They might do it just for us, for people who want more VR and who want to see some multi-platform games and I'm sure we're gonna have big games showcase later on. So, the take from it is, there will be lots of VR apparently, which is great news. I know some people will moan, but this is the online, you know, a lot of online crybabies uh, out there in the online world. We say on this channel to all of them, fuck them, fuck them hard and bad, because nobody cares about their opinions. So, what we're gonna get is uh, a lot of PlayStation VR 2 games, apparently, on the showcase. I wonder if we're gonna see some more, uh, maybe something regarding the PSVR 2 on PC as well. I know there will be a sadness if Astrobot 2 is not VR game, might not be, I don't know. Uh, just a reminder that Sony said ages ago that they will, uh, you know, they want to support PSVR 2, but at a profit. Uh, that's why maybe something's happening slower than uh, many people would like to see. I don't know. Uh, saying that though, you know, if it's at a profit, that means they're happy with it. And we're gonna talk about some numbers in a minute because they revealed them to us as well. And it all looks good and promising for the future of PSVR 2. I'm just assuming, uh, you know, the PC support I'm seeing in comment section is because uh, they're just expanding it. Uh, I'm gonna talk about it later on. Anyway, actually no, let's talk about PC support now and then we're gonna talk about the number. This is the uh, plan of action. I meant <laughs> to say the numbers, so let's, let's go. Okay, so I've got myself here on the screen and on the land of X. Um, and this is because um, the IVRY, this is the dudes who developed adapter for PSVR 2 to work on PC. But this is more like a basement project, let's say, uh, you know, some smart uh, enthusiast got it bolded together. It took them loads of time, a lot of trial and error, but they've done it. But this is, they take how the PlayStation VR 2 adapter uh, for VR on PC might look like. So basically, Sony CF1ZVP1 adapter to connect PSVR 2 to PC will most likely look something like this with a power supply and will perform the same function example connect USB-C to display port and USB 3 it would make sense if it also includes Bluetooth adapter to connect controllers so that's what they think is gonna look something like that something like uh, their adapter um, and then they say it's a bit hard to make wait 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 uh, let's get on this post here 
Sony announced it in February that they are doing some kind of PC support, so no surprise. As whatever they are doing is very unlikely to be a Steam VR driver, we carry on grateful that they've made our work easier, that's what they're saying. Uh, so yeah, I mean the Steam updated itself for VR to have different peripherals, uh, you know, not just for Quest or stuff like that, but other headsets as well. Now, regarding the HDMI, so somebody asked about it, they say it's unlikely PSVR 2 is displayed for the headset. Uh, the features it needs are unlikely to be supported by any hardware that has HDMI, uh, but not display port. And I think it's due to the data transfer uh, basically needed to be fast. Uh, when it comes to the price, they thinking they could probably make it for $20. They almost definitely won't sell it uh, for that. Uh, they might try to make up for lost PS5 software sales, so let's guess $79.99. Of course, those dudes are smart in making the adapter themselves, uh, but I don't know what they, what they are about the sales. Um, that's what they're thinking. Maybe that's right, maybe that's wrong. I don't know. Uh, they also saying they might have, have something done even before PSVR 2 released. Somebody might make it. Um, I have no idea, but all in all, I definitely cannot wait for this native PSVR 2 support on PC. I love having headset with outside, uh, inside out tracking. Uh, let's say your indexes and you know all the good headsets, they need valve stations uh, on site to be placed. Uh, more cables for me and more uh, messing around with the setup. Uh, I want to plug something in and play, basically. Uh, Quest offers that, but uh, it does it through the streaming while PSVR 2 will do it natively via the hardware, which means picture quality gonna be much better, especially with PSVR 2 screen, which is very HDR nice. Okay, I still leave in my face on screen here, uh, just for a bit, you know, not, 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 not as big. Anyway, don't matter. What we're gonna talk about is this. Uh, this is Sony's business segment meeting, 2024 game and network service uh, segment, and they revealed some numbers here in this document what I've got. Uh, we're not gonna go through everything, but take this from it. Console and beyond is very important to uh, listen to that, what they're saying. Also, they're saying this is the most profitable generation to date. And the PS1, 24 billion, PS2, 44 billion, PS3, 71 billion, PS4, 107 billion dollars, uh, and uh, PS5, 106 billion dollars. Operating income, <laughs> PS3, of course, research and development cost them a lot. Uh, you can see how much they've been losing. It's, I'm surprised to see how much PS, uh, uh, PS2 lost. But anyway, PS3, of course, it took them ages to get some sort of the, you know, revenue. And then it's kind of stopped with PS4. Uh, of course, they smashed it. And with PS5, they doing just great, um, you know, so yeah. But that's not what I, I, I talk about, uh, want to talk about. We're gonna go back to this. Um, PSVR 2 on PC and why I think they're not killing on PS5 as well and it comes under this PlayStation experience. Uh, so, what they doing? We're gonna go to this graph, what I can find. Uh, okay, okay, so, the lifetime value of PlayStation 5 as well and peripherals are here and that includes PSVR 2 as well. Uh, mind you, it's not on picture here, but of course it will. Anyway, so, we've got uh, here the stronger light today spent per person, I'm assuming, on console, uh, which of course includes all the different bits and bobs, and peripherals grew 34%. Percent. Uh, PSVR 2, of course, is peripheral. Uh, what's concerning is that content add-ons grew 176%, which means we probably can expect more shitty DLCs, I'm assuming. Uh, while full game uh, still grew, but 12%. But uh, it's good to see peripherals growing that much. Now, so what they want to do is, uh, yeah, this is their expanding lineup, lineup and, uh, you know, the peripherals that expand the engagement, that's PSVR 2, uh, uh, for the, this is showing the new use cases, PSVR 2, but also they want to explore new opportunities and they want to introduce non-PlayStation 5 players to PlayStation via peripherals. And this is where PlayStation VR 2 support on PC comes into play, because it was all doom and gloom when it was first announced, but I think uh, they basically want 
still <laughs> some PC people with VR, VR users, which of course are the, let's say, gamers with the most money, they seem like that, uh, you know, to spend on games and hardware. Uh, so, we are, yeah, we are, we are just, just the elite, are we? Even though we are still poor, <laughs> but <laughs> we've got enough to, <laughs> to play our VR. Well, I hope we're not all poor. Anyway, so extends today, so that, that's why they want to extend to new devices, drive better, tougher consumer value proposition and uh, PSVR 2, their new device. So I think, you know, PSVR 2 on PS5 is a great offering when it comes to some exclusives like your Resident Evil's, Horizons, uh, you know, GT7. And I think that's where they go in. Uh, with that, they be saying, look how good our VR headset looks on your PC, but look how good games you can play with it on your PS5, which you can buy for the fraction of your PC price. And like I said, VR users, of course, are seen as the ones with most of money. So that's that's when I see when they go in with that. And of course, all in all, it's all good news for Sony because they earn a lot of money. They show in their studios and what they're working on, Team Asobi, which is our Astrobot beloved company working on single player narrative uh, experiences. Uh, their partner studios here, Blue Point, of course, uh, do some remasters, multi genre studios, and live services because they're doing them as well. Uh, this is how they see their games, major franchises, the, uh, franchises, uh, the games that expand audience, reach and, and engage through new formats and experiences. So you've got Gran Turismo here. Of course, until down, of course, Astrobot, of course, it's all to the, you know, it's all to the um, comes to new experiences on PSVR. Helldiver 2, of course, online game. Uh, maybe Uncharted stage to see it here. Are they releasing on anything else? Uh, can you imagine if you get Uncharted on PSVR 2? But I don't want to put that in anyone's face. Their uh, most successful games, Spider-Man doing great. Uh, their games to come to PlayStation, PC, live services. Uh, so they want to basically be everywhere, uh, but by being everywhere they want to bring more people towards the PlayStation 5. And so far, because uh, they are in the most money this generation, it's definitely work. So whatever you hear online from us, the YouTubers, just keep in mind we might be doing those channels for a very long time. We might have our channels, talk to developers, but no, most of YouTubers uh, didn't publish the game. We don't know that much. This is the source, the fair from them, from Sony themselves. I just passing it on. You know, I'm not the market, let's say, specialist, but it all looks good. So keep that in mind. And that's it for now. Uh, it's it's been uh, I'm I'm talking now for a long time. But it looks great for Sony and it all looks good for us, for PSVR 2 owners, especially that apparently we get in some PSVR 2 games, most, mostly PSVR 2 games on the state of play, which some people find it disappointing, but I said fuck them, for us it's great news. You know, for us the most valued customers. Hmm. Anyway, stay tuned to the channel and of course if you like what you're seeing, then subscribe and I'll be back later. Bye 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 bye.